They don't want to give up a privilege we sometimes take for granted, driving. But a new study found nearly half of drivers, 65 and older, are behind the wheel while using seven or more types of medications. That's alarming. Yeah. News Channel 5's Michelle Casada live for us in West Palm Beach tonight to explain how it really increases their risk for a crash. Michelle? Well, Shannon Kelly, the AAA study says that some of the drugs older drivers are taking can increase the risk of a crash by 300%. At 90 years old, Fred Splain is proud of a clean driving record. You just got to be more alert, observant what's going on around you, these fools trying to run over you to get ahead of you. He goes against most stats that people his age are taking multiple medications. 81 milligram aspirin, if I remember. A AAA study found that nearly half of drivers, 65 and up, are using seven or more medications while still actively driving. I know some of them that should not be driving. Dr. Daniel Fortier with Good Samaritan Medical Center says certain medications for the heart, to sleep, or for anxiety can cause major side effects the driver may not even be aware of. Studies have been done over the last 20 to 30 years showing that medications can cause slower thought processes, slower reaction time, delayed memory, but yet on the surface you don't realize it's happening. Crashes this year in Palm Beach, Martin and St. Lucie counties show the largest percentage of drivers involved were over the age of 65, but that doesn't mean those drivers were medicated. The AAA study suggests people talk with their doctors about side effects. I will say that I wouldn't be surprised if, if that warning is not heeded because nobody wants to give up the autonomy of driving. Fred says it would be hard to give up the freedom driving gives seniors, but would if he had to. If I got to that point at my age and know that I'm not safe, no, I will not drive. I will give it up. We do have a link on our website where you can look up the medications that you're using and see all the possible side effects. Just go to the link at, on this story on WPTV.com. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5.